welcome back to FBTV. I'm Robert Blanch and we're here at a bright and sunny AJ Kelly Field here on the Redcliffe Peninsula. A vast difference from last Friday night when we were out here where it was absolutely teeming down. But today, not the case. Beautiful conditions, hot if anything, and uh, very, very bright. Uh, the game today will see hosts Peninsula Power take on Redlands United in the first round of the South East Queensland Women's Diamond League. The minute silence held prior to the match was in honour of John Cofod, who passed away last Tuesday. John was a huge supporter of women's football and one of the pioneers in Brisbane of photographing and videoing women's football matches and from everybody involved in football in Brisbane. We'd like to take this opportunity to say, John, you did a marvellous job and you'll be sorely missed by the Brisbane football community. The officials for today's match are referee Eddie Borski and his assistant referees Adrian Morrow and Andrew Kavanagh. And we're underway here at AJ Kelly Field. Balls rolled back. Tatsioka. Glover. Comes forward. Slides it. Tatsioka with the intercept. Quick ball out. Lees in behind. Pulls the trigger. And a good save at the near post by McKee. Riding gets it all the way back. Foot. Foot shoots. And a comfortable save to a right. Tegan McKee in goals for Peninsula Power. Redlands with all the possession. Houston up the line. Cuts inside. Cut out. Tatsioka. Goes wide again. Lees. Clips it into the middle. Once again, easily cut out by the power defence or heavy touch. By Watt. Tatsioka pulls the trigger and puts it well wide of the mark. Forward. Riding in behind. Shoots and oh, good save with a foot from the power keeper. Power keep possession well in the corner. Finally comes back inside. Glover. Changes direction. And the shot comes in from what? And oh, good save from Buckley to push it out for a corner. Johnston with the ball in. It's taken a deflection. Tatsioka heads it back in the danger. And Glover can't keep the volley down or on target. McKee goes forward. Again, a heavy touch. Redlands quick on the ball. Slid in, riding in behind, riding! Put Redlands in the lead in the 16th minute after some fantastic lead-up play from the Redlands Devils. We'll have to have a look at that again. Great ball. That's a great touch from Lees. Riding, continue to run. Gave the keeper no chance and gives the Devils the lead. Tatsioka forward, foot riding, oh clever ball off the outside of the foot, Houston in behind and puts a shot over the bar, Tatsioka in space, great ball, they've beat the offside trap, no they haven't, flag's gone up, must have been tight. Harrington with the ball forward. Tatsioka cuts it out. Lays it in. Houston slows it down. Looking for support. Goes past Harrington. Pulls the trigger and oh the ball. Dipped just after it went over the bar. Power. Furigal. Lays it off. Shot from distance. And oh, just drops over the head and the bar of Buckley. Oh, 
Buckley with the goal kick. It's dropped nicely for power. Good touch. Watt goes down. Furigal does well to win the ball back. Shoots. It's taken a touch. And it's gone over the keeper. And it's one all here at AJ Kelly Field in the 40th minute. Let's have a look. What does well? Tatsioka. Furigal. Just a hesitation from Grant. Furigal gets there. Shoots. It's gone. Ah, oh, Tank has taken a touch off the defender. Buckley can't get it out of the goal. Ball into the box. Good defensive header. Tatsioka. Calm. Comes in. Oh, McKee. Great take. And gets rid of it early. Second half here at AJ Kelly Field. Glover. Oh, clever ball. Davy. Keeps possession well. Good play. Ball straight into the box. Cleared by the Redlands defence. Redlands on the break now. Oh, great through ball for Riding. She's in behind. Clips it back square. And oh, Houston from five metres has put it onto the crossbar. Should have scored. McKee clears it. Watt keeps it going. Tatsioka brings it down. Clips it forward. Houston in behind. Oh, good touch. Gets past the keeper. Riding! Gets in, makes sure, and makes it 2-1 to Redlands. Let's have a look. Tatsioka, that's a great ball. That's a better touch. Houston chips the keeper. McKee gets a touch, riding on hand. Never going to not put that in the back of the net. And Redlands lead, two goals to one in the 48th minute. Oh, a foul there from Davy, I think, yes. Could we lucky not to go into the book? Glover with the ball forward. Tatsioka away. Oh, it's landed nicely for Lees, who's kept it going, riding. In behind again, one-on-one. -on -one. And a great save by McKee in goals for power. Ball's laid back, the shot comes in, and this time there's nothing she can do. And the ball's in the back of the net, and it's 3-1 here at AJ Kelly Field. A great strike from Lees. Let's have a look. Great save. Riding recovers the fastest. Lays it back. Lees with a left foot. Gives McKee no chance. Fantastic strike. Free kick swung in. Buckley somehow keeps it out. The ball has, still hasn't gone in. How did they not score? Ball forward early. Riding against Johnston. They both go down. And a free kick to the power side. Lees. Tries a lock off the crossbar. And McKee, patient. Tatsioka gets to the ball first. Good feet. Very good. Well played. Ball let to roll. The shot comes in. And McKee. Oh, Lee's. Won the ball, straight into Cramp. She's struggling, it's the first game. Oh, Furigal and Tatsioka reacquaint after being teammates a couple of years ago. Oh, um, Furigal goes into the book. Oh, great through ball into the channel. Riding, there first. Clips it across. Martin puts it wide.
Short goal kick. Tatsuyoka's got in there and won that well. Ball in the middle, riding. Harrington with the clearance. Only going as far as Valdom. Oh, no. Her shot goes wide of the mark. From distance. Oh, McKee. Oh, unlucky. Latham is trying to like, let's have a look. It's a poor clearance. Latham, first time, spots the keeper. McKee gets a touch. Oh, hands and knees stuff. Then she realised it's in the back of the net. Corner comes across. Glover with the defensive header. Latham with the shot. Ooh, good defensive work from Harrington. Power now with a chance to break. Great ball through the channel. Furigal shoots. No, oh, puts a shot over the bar. Harrington forward. Furigal. Power now. Breaking. Davy. In behind. Furigal shoots. It's blocked. Furigal again. And the ball's gone in to make it 4 2 here at AJ Kelly Field in the 90th minute. Bit of a laugh. They're all trying to slow it down. Davy clips it in. Goes behind the strikers. The shot comes in. Comes off a defender. Furigal reacts first. Puts it into the bottom corner. No chance for Buckley in the Redlands goal. Throw down the line. Ball inside. Riding gets there. Dangerous position. She gets away from the defenders. Oh, gets a lucky bounce off Johnston's clearance. She's a one-on-one. -on -one. She's in. She's around McKee. Has she gone too wide? No, she's put it in and made it 5-2 in the 92nd minute. A fantastic individual goal from Riding. Let's have a look. This is the last part. She's gone around the keeper. Keeps her cool. Puts it into the net. Makes it 5-2. And that's the final whistle, which sees this round one. South East Queensland Diamond League match end. Redlands United 5. Peninsula Power 2. Not the result you're after, I'm sure, here in the first round of the South East Queensland Diamond League, but plenty to show from the girls today, and I would suggest some good efforts out there. They gave 100%. Uh, but they played against a very good Redlands United side. Yeah, you, you always know what you're up against when you play Redlands and you can't afford to make basic errors. Um, but you quite rightly said I was delighted by the effort and the, the way the girls went about their work, but it was basic errors and they, they carved their way through the middle. So that'll be something that we've really got to work on for future. But full marks to Redlands. You always know you're going to be in a game with them. They play lovely football and they capitalised on their chances. Um, when we thought we were back in the game, we were playing some nice football and then we, we let it in at the back door, which was a little bit disappointing. But overall, um, very, very pleased with my guys' um, effort and performance in uh, places, but something to work on Tuesday, Thursday night. Exactly. There's plenty of positives out there. It's only the first game of the season. A disrupted pre-season for most sides, the weather and floods and droughts and all sorts of things in the lead up to this season. So most sides haven't really got out there and gelled. You've got a new, few new players, impressed by some of the young players out there today. Um, there's some very good talent, especially the young talent coming through here at Peninsula Power. Yeah, we, um, we're delighted with some of the new arrivals from Danielle from the sunny coast. A couple of the girls have come down from Caboolture. Tegan in goals, I thought, played particularly well. And we're trying to change our style a little bit um, so that it, we're not just a kick and run, that we're playing more a direct attacking game, but still playing the way that the top teams like the Gap, the Redlands and other teams play. Um, and in fairness, we've, we've been on the go since before Christmas, so the guys maybe have uh, gave them too long a pre-season and the, it's been too long a hang on, but uh, we've got fantastic facilities up here and full marks to the guys behind the scenes for making sure that um, we do have somewhere to 
train albeit a gym or somewhere local where, when we can't go into the parks so no we've, we've had a, a good run at the pre-season training and I wouldn't use that as an excuse so no we, we'll take it on the chin we'll go and lick our wounds uh, but we'll come back we've got Ipswich away next week then it's the Easter break so that'll give us a little bit of time to regroup uh, Jackie Drawn was missing. Uh, Jackie, a bigger pardon. Jackie Thorburn, who's one of the key figures, she was missing at the back tonight due to a family bereavement. So hopefully Jackie will be back and will uh, blood another couple of the younger players coming through from Sapphires and uh, yeah, start again. Press reset and start again. Well, I'd like to thank you for talking to me after the game. As I said, impressed. A great standard of football from both sides. Uh, a good advertisement for women's football this early in the season. So I'm going to thank you for talking to us and I will, um, I'm will. i sure we'll catch up around the grounds over the coming season. Thanks very much, guys. Pleasure. An impressive 5-2 victory out there today against Peninsula Power. For long periods of the game, I thought you dominated and played a really good passing and possession style of football. Yeah, well, Blanche, I mean, you know, that's that's certainly our um, our brand of football, and that's what we like to play. And it was marvellous, really, when you consider the the amount of uh, pre-season um, that all the all the clubs have had. So I think both teams are credit to uh, you know we lost probably three weeks in a row with uh, getting on the paddock. So yeah, no, r really happy, um, you know, to finish off with three points. Getting Tatsu back from the uh, W League, she's in fantastic form. Um, I believe she's come back a better player, if that's possible, than when she went away and when she went off and played for the Raw. But it's not just her all over the park, the movement and the runs that are made. You know, and a lot of them were made without ever really wanting the ball. Just opened up spaces, and they gave you that little bit of space in the middle of the park. And to be fair, you can't do that against your side. Yeah, well, look, you know, the pleasing thing, I think, was, you know, even though, um, you know, a lot of those probably last passes, probably, you know, a little bit too much weight or whatever, that's just, you know, I'll put that down to seriously first game and, um, you know, the lack of, you know, ability to get on the park. But, but the runs were there and, as you say, you know, the movement off the ball was, was particularly good, which I was, you know, happy about. And, and um, yeah, you know, Sachiko is a, a fabulous player, you know, she, fabulous player last season and, and she's brought that extra confidence back and, um, you know, and I thought she probably got up and down the right side of the field there tonight, you know, probably better than most, so... Do you think you've sent a message to the rest of the league that, um, yes, Redlands are still here and maybe bigger and better than they were last year? Well, I think the girls have taken it upon themselves, uh, really, Blanche. I think it's marvellous they've come up with, uh, you know, a, a, set, a set of standards and a set of, uh, you know, a code that they want to, you know, work to. And uh, and we're certainly, you know, not resting on the laurels of, you know, previous years. That they, this is a new group, you know, some new players, and they want to make their own mark. So. Yeah, you know, they certainly want to go forward and then to do one better than last year. Very pleasing for the coach. Well, I'd like to thank you for having a chat to us after the game. You're obviously happy. Big smile on the face. The yeah. first game under the belt, three points. And, and if you could see what I could see, Blanche, <laughs> you'd be smiling too. <laughs> I never look behind me doing interviews because it's a big distraction. Thanks very much for your support as always. Cheers. And there we have it, a 5-2 victory for the Redlands Devils over Peninsula Power here at AJ Kelly Field in the opening round of the South East Queensland Diamond League. Tomorrow, the cameras will be out at Luxury Paint Stadium for the Trophy Superstore BPL Round 3 clash between Lions FC and Brisbane Falls.